Hey y'all, my name is Carrie, and I am having L4 to S1 spinal fusion in the morning. And in doing some research for this surgery and looking up YouTube and everything, and you know, there's a few people out there that'll give you little points and things that you'll need prior to surgery or that you may need after surgery that while helpful, um, I really couldn't find anything about like the down and dirty details that are going to come along with this surgery. Like I want to know at day three, holy crap, your back is killing you. You can't get up and walk and God forbid you should have to poop, right? Like that's the details that I want to know. I want to know exactly what's going to happen so that I know what to expect. So um, in talking with a few friends, I have decided that I'm going to chronicle my journey. So that that way, if you find this channel, you can have the down and dirty details that go along with this surgery. So a little background, um, I am 49 years old. I have a um, disorder called spondylolisthesis, which at L5, my vertebrae, the, the side bones that stick out, um, the pedicles, the pars um, that connect those to the bone above and below, um, are broken. And so L5 has slid forward. And in doing so, the disc at L4, L5, and the one between L5 and S1 are now uh, bulging and torn. And I've been dealing with this for about 12 years. And I have had um, numerous transraminal <laughs> epidural injections um, that have helped. I get them every three or four years, um, but we're at a, at a point where it's kind of like at an impasse and they're not helping anymore. So it's definitely time to fix this. Um, I've been working on an ambulance here in Louisiana for, this is my 28th year um, of working for this um, company. I, for the past 10 years, I have taught, but I still do pick up shifts on the street. Um, past five years, they've been kind of, um, I guess, easier shifts because of my back. But um, I've also played ball since like t-ball. I played collegiate softball, um, volleyball, soccer. Um, I played after college. I played on a couple co-ed teams and a couple travel ball teams. So um, I am active. In fact, I went and did my last workout tonight prior to having surgery so that I could at least get something in um, trying to stabilize my core as much as I could beforehand. So if you um, choose to follow this, hopefully it helps you out. Um, if I uh, have any um, mishaps, good points, bad points, I'm going to put them in here so that that way you know um, exactly what to expect. And we'll go through this journey together. So um, I did my pre-op at the beginning of the month. Um, and about three weeks ago. So, of course, you know that entailed um, peeing in a cup. Uh, they did blood work, check my clotting factors. You know, God forbid they should cut me open and I end up like bleeding to death on the table. Um, but I'm told that the incisions are only going to be an inch and a half to two inches each on the side of my spine. I chose to go posterior and not posterior and anterior because I just didn't want to heal both ways. And my surgeon Happened to say that he could do it all posterior, so that's the way we're going. Um, they also do a chest x-ray, uh, and they do a 12-lead EKG on you, so it's just kind of standard pre-op stuff. So I have to be at the hospital at 7.30 in the morning, and um, we'll just go from there. So good luck to you if you are having signs and symptoms of this, um, and you are looking for information on it. I hope that this channel and these days to follow will kind of help you out. So I'm going to take my shower. Um, they gave me Hibba Cleanse that I have to shower with tonight and tomorrow prior to going um, into surgery. So um, we'll see what happens. So be kind to everybody, and I'll let you know what happens tomorrow.